So, recently on Twitter, there's been a debate about which Atlanta restaurant is the worst. And if you're like me and you're from Atlanta, or if you've ever been to Atlanta, you would know that people here are really passionate about which restaurants they really love and which ones they just absolutely hate. So, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Say hey, Nova. <laughs> So, in today's episode, we're going to try to settle this debate. We went to all four restaurants and got their most popular item off the menu. Now, of course we've already been to all of these restaurants, but never have we eaten all four in one day, and never have I eaten food solely for research purposes. But the internet made me do it, so let's go to restaurant number one. Restaurant number one was the always reliable Chick-fil-A. At Chick-fil-A, of course, we got the number one, which is the classic chicken sandwich. It's just the chicken sandwich, side of waffle fries, and then, of course, we got an Arnold Palmer, because how could you not? Which you can also see in our very first episode, Chicken and Waffles at Chick-fil-A. I ain't playing by my Lord and Savior. I'm on my job. If you ain't a Christian, I'm going to stab you in the face. If it ain't about Jesus, I'm going to hit you with this cake. All right. And restaurant number two was that girl, American Deli. I have to make a very important phone call. American Deli. Can I place an order? Yes, what can I do for you? Let me get a 10 piece hat, then pepper sprinkles, extra wet, extra crunchy, and make sure my fries fresh because last time they were cold. Of course, Atlanta is known for their wings, and at American Deli, the most popular menu item is just probably going to be a 10-piece with fries and a drink. Now, personally, I get a 15-piece hot honey lemon pepper with vegetable fried rice, but for the sake of the video, I just got a 10-piece with fries and a peach lemonade mix, and I mean, baby, it's American Deli. It's going to always be good. It never disappoints. So for restaurant number three, we ended up going to a downtown classic, which is the Varsity. I don't know what to say about them. <laughs> All right, so at the Varsity, we actually ended up getting their combo, which is a chili dog, a side of onion rings, their signature orange shake, as well as a fried sweet potato pie, which I thought was gonna be so good. But overrated, man. All you people that want to come down there and come and eat the varsity. Ah, ah oh my, it's, uh. And last but not least, we went to our favorite restaurant in Atlanta to get food and a show Waffle House. Can I get a waffle? Can I please get a waffle? All right. <laughs> so. <laughs> So at Waffle House, we got what I find to be the most popular item there, which is their all-star breakfast. Now, the all-star breakfast comes with two eggs, toast, your choice of either hash browns or grits, bacon or sausage, and a waffle, which is Waffle House, gotta have the waffle. So, we tried all four restaurants, and honestly, I've never felt more Atlanta than I do right now. My body hates me, but one of these restaurants does have to go, 
and to be quite honest it's the varsity i don't really think it's up for debate like if you're from atlanta do you even really eat the varsity it's sad it looks sad it's just not good if i had to rank these restaurants personally i feel like it'll be chick-fil-a american deli and then waffle house i mean hear me out chick-fil-a is like i said always reliable your food is always going to be good it is quality food like it's just you know what to expect you know when you go to chick-fil-a american deli is just the go-to for wings like don't get me wrong i do think it depends on which one you go to but like there are wings and like everyone knows american deli it, it's just it is what it is and waffle house it's just they're always open and like that's where we always go after anything but they might not get your food right <laughs> so it just has to be number three and varsity is just trash